Amen. Good to be in the house of the Lord today. Amen. It's good to see all you smiling faces. At least the ones that are smiling. Amen. Amen. Today, if you have your Bibles, let's go to Isaiah 42. Isaiah 42 and verse 5. And while you're turning, I'm going to pray. Lord, I thank you for the day that you've prepared here today. Lord, I honor your holy name this morning. Lord, I lift you up, and I ask that you take me low. Father, I ask that your Holy Spirit would descend into this place right now in the name of Jesus, that you would walk each and every heart, that you would walk each and every pew. Lord, I ask that you would move on our behalf. I ask that you would render the heavens and come down today. I ask that you be with us in this service. Lord, I ask that my breath will be your breath today. I ask, Lord God, that everything I say will be glorifying to you, yes. and it will be pleasing unto you, Father. Lord, I didn't come to please man, but I come to please you today. And I ask that you would help me to do that. Lord, I ask that you would hide me under your blood and behind your cross this morning. Lord God, I pray that it be no flesh in your sermon this morning, in your message. I ask, Lord God, that you would touch our hearts and that you would prepare them to receive what is given. I ask, Lord, that you would bless your holy name. You said that you would watch over it and that you would perform it. And I ask that you do that today. I ask that you show up in great and mighty miracles, great and mighty signs this morning. Lord, I ask that you would bless us as a church, as a whole. And I ask that you would have mercy on us today. Yes. We thank you for your mercy and we thank you for your grace. Amen. For it's everlasting. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Isaiah 42 and 5. Say amen if you got it. Amen. Thus saith God the Lord, He that created the heavens and stretched them out, He that spread forth the earth, and that which cometh out of it, He that giveth breath unto the people upon it, and spirit to them that walk therein. I the Lord have called thee in righteousness, and will hold thine hand, and will keep thee, and give thee for a covenant of the people for a light of the Gentiles, to open the blind eyes, to bring out the prisoners from the prison, and them that sit in darkness out of the prison house. I am the Lord, that is my name, and my glory will I not give to another, neither my praise to graven images. Behold, the former things are come to pass, and new things do I declare. Before they spring forth, I tell you of them. Now jump over to 43, verse 1. But now thus saith the Lord that created thee, O Jacob, and he that formed thee, O Israel, fear not, for I have redeemed thee. I have called thee by thy name, thou art mine. When thou passest through the waters, I will be with thee, and through the rivers they shall not overflow thee. When thou walkest through the fire, Thou shalt not be burned, neither shall the flame kindle upon thee. Now this morning I want to remind you who God is. Come yeah. on, y'all. Yeah. We come to church this morning to serve God. Yeah. We didn't come to serve our preacher. We didn't come to serve the church. We come to serve God. And when we put him as first priority in our lives, then all the other stuff will follow. Amen? Yeah. Can I get an amen? Amen. Yeah. amen. It said that he's the one that created the heavens. It says that he stretched them out. Come on, y'all. Yeah. I want you to imagine how big God is. Yeah. We look at our lives and we look at things that's going on in our lives and things that's going on around us and people that we know's lives and they seem big. We got problems sometimes and they seem big. Come on, can I get an amen in here, y'all? Yeah. We got things that we can't overcome. They seem like big obstacles. But I want you to know this morning, I serve a big God. I serve a God who stretched out the heavens. He took his finger and he painted it. Come on, y'all. We forget who God is. This morning, I want to remind you who God is. He said, I am the Lord. I create this. I made you. I breathed upon you. I put my spirit inside of you. He stretched out the heavens this morning. Can you imagine that? Can you imagine at the word of God, yes. the, the heavens were there. It says that he put the stars, he hung them himself, and he named every one of them. Yes. 
Come on, y'all. That's who the Lord is this morning. It says, he spread forth the earth and that which come out of it. God created me and you this morning. You say, what did he create us for? He created us to please him. He created us to worship him. He created us to walk after his image. Because we was created in the image of God. That's awesome right there. Yes, yes. Can I get an amen in the house of God? Yes, yes. I said, can I get an amen in the house of God? Yes, yes. I want to encourage you this morning. So many things that's going on in our country. We're seeing all this stuff happening. And it's all political. Come on, y'all. Yes. And we see problems arising in our land. And we've got problems in our lives. But I serve a big God. Yes. I said, I serve a God that's yes. bigger than all this. I serve a purpose that's bigger than all this. This world can't hold me back, Troy. Why? Because I've tasted and I've seen just how big my God is. Yeah. You say, well, how big is he? He brought me forth out of sin. Amen. He brought me out of iniquity. Amen. He drew me out of that hole that I was in. Come on. Amen. He set me up on a rock. Yeah. And that rock is Jesus Christ. Yeah. And now that I stand here, I stand justified. I ain't the same I used to be. Come on, y'all. I serve a big God. If he can do that for me, he can do it for you. If he can do it for you, he can do it for your kids. If he can do it for your kids, he can do it for your grandchildren. Oh, come on, church. Let's shout this morning. Let's be Pentecostal today. Can we do that? Amen. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God that was slain for your sin and for mine. I serve a big God, DJ. Come on, y'all. It says, He that giveth breath unto the people upon it. That breath you're breathing, it ain't yours. God give you that breath. Yes, right. What are you doing with it? Amen. We were singing with it this morning. At least some of us tried to. <laughs> Amen. We got breath. We need to use it. You say, what are we using? We proclaim the word of God. We stand up and say, hey, that's not right. I'm not going to live that way. You're not going to do that here. I'm not going to have that in my house. I'm not going to be around that. Why? Because I proclaim the word of God. Amen. Everywhere I go, I want to speak the word of God. Everything I do, I want to do it holy and pleasing unto my Lord. Yes. Amen? Amen? It's his breath. He gave it to me. Amen. I wasted my breath a lot of times. How many of you ever talked to your spouse? Come on. <laughs> And they won't really listen. Come on. And they went in this ear and they come out the other. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Well, before you ever got it out your mouth, they asking what? Uh -huh. Huh? Y'all yeah. ain't never done that. I guess that's just me, ain't <laughs> Amen. Before the words ever get out your mouth, they just fall on the ground like deaf ears. Amen. Yeah. Come on, y'all. Yeah. Words that don't amount to nothing. What about saying things that we shouldn't say? Ooh, he didn't say that, did he? <laughs> you said that to your wife that you shouldn't have said. Come you said that to your husband that you shouldn't shouldn't have said. Come on. What about when other people ain't around and you're talking about? Them? Uh -huh. Ooh, <laughs> let's go there, y'all. What if you prayed for that person as much as you talked about that person? Amen. Amen. What if you prayed? as much as you talked about your husband? Yeah. What if you prayed about your wife as much as you talked about your wife? Come on. Yeah. Amen? Amen? How long have you spent in prayer for your husband today? <laughs> How long have you spent in prayer for those people? That's the breath of God. We're not using it for the right things. We're doing everything else. Yeah. We're singing everything else. We're talking about everything else. Why are we talking about the Lord? Why are we talking about how big God is? Amen. Because yeah. I serve a big God. He said, in spirit to them that walk therein. I can tell the ones in here who's got a little spirit in them. <laughs> huh? Come on. Because they want to kick a boot. They want to sing a song. They want to move a little bit. Yeah. They got a smile on their face. They ain't just sitting there like you. <laughs> Some of them got a spirit, but it's the wrong kind. Amen. Ooh, let's go there, church. I'm talking about a spirit down inside. <coughs> you say what spirit? The Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. 
when that Holy Ghost power comes in, when you start talking about God, when you start seeking him, Troy, when you start looking for him, Tina, he going to show up. Amen. And when he shows up, he infiltrates your life. He comes into your heart. He moves into your spirit. He moves into your soul. And you can't be the same. And then everywhere you go, you got a little song to sing. Everywhere you go, you got something down in your soul that you want to spread. Everywhere you go, everybody, you get around, you say, hey, I serve a big God, and he brought me out of big things, and now I'm going to give him my life because he deserves it. Yes, amen. Yeah. When is the last time we took our problems and measured them up to God instead of taking our problems, I mean our God, and measuring it to our problems? Thank you, sir. You get a raise. Right. Amen. Who wants the spirit this morning? I want to have some spirit in me. I want to have some grit down in my gut. Come on, y'all. When that spirit raises up against a standard, against sin, it makes a standard in our lives, and we don't do certain things anymore. Come on, y'all. Are y'all having a good time? Y'all smile a little bit. <laughs> Look, I'm not preaching real hard on you this morning. I'm trying to encourage you. I'm not battering you over the head today. I'm not stomping your toe and kicking your shins too, which I usually do. Sometimes you got to change it up a little bit, amen? I want to tell you how good God is today. DJ God's good, amen? He brought me from where I used to be and made me who I am today, which is nothing like that old man. Can't go back. Don't want to go back. And by the mercy and grace of God, I'll never go back. Amen? Look what it says here. And this right here is talking about the Messiah. It's talking about Jesus when he comes, but we're going to apply it to our lives. I, the Lord, have called thee in righteousness and will hold thine hand. That's what we're supposed to be today. We're supposed to be righteous men and women of God. When's the last time you've seen a righteous man? When's the last time you talked to a righteous woman? Come on. The one sitting beside you should be the righteous woman. Yeah. Should be the righteous man. But a lot of times we ain't. God went on to say that he would hold his hand. Y'all mamas, y'all daddies, come on. When them little babies run up to you and you grab them by the hand and you walking them around the store. Yeah. Or you walking them across the street or you walking them into church or whatever. They come up and they reach their hand out for you. You always grab their hand and take hold to it, don't you? Amen. As a father's love, as a mother's love, because you love your children. Yeah. That's what God's going to do for us today. Amen. When we reach out for him and we need him and we want to feel his love and we want to feel his protection, all you got to do today is reach out your hand and he will reach down and grab a hold to it and keep you. That's what he did for Moses on Mount Sinai. It says that he stretched forth out his hand and he sheltered him when the glory passed by. Yeah. Amen? Y'all remember that? Yeah. What if we had a little spirit in us this morning? <laughs> huh? What if we had a little pep in a step? I said, yeah. what if we had a little pep in a step? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. Huh? Come on, y'all. Let's get happy in the Lord. Let's have a good time. Yeah. Every time we come to church, we need to think about how big God is. We need yeah. to think about the old days. You need to remember what you used to do. You remember what stuff you was caught up in and what he brought you out for. Yeah. Why he brought you out. He brought me out to preach the gospel. Yeah, I mean, yes, he did. He brought me out of what I was in to preach the gospel and to the ones around me because I've been through trials, I've been through temptations, and I can stand here justified as an overcomer and tell you how big God is. Yeah. One preacher said, you ain't got no problems, all you need is faith in God. Yeah. Amen? Amen. Amen? Amen. Amen? I said amen? amen. You would serve a big God today. He's on the throne, he's mighty, yeah. and he's willing to reach out his hand, Troy, and to grab you by the hand and to lead you on. Yes, yeah. You say, what's he lead you into? Righteousness. Yeah. Righteousness. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want to be a sinner. I don't want to live my life in sin. I don't like that life. Yeah. I've been there. I've done that. I rode around listening to the rap music. Come on, boys. <laughs> hey, I'm preaching to you now. <laughs> I rode around with my fitted cap on backwards. 
Air Force Ones, which I still got a few pairs. <laughs> Come on. Had my pants sagging low. Y'all remember, I ain't gotta tell y'all. You remember what I used to be? Yep. I'd see my daddy riding down this side of the road. I'd give him a gesture that I shouldn't have given because I hate him. Come on. I'm being honest. Yep. I'm being transparent with you. See, all the things that the devil has stolen, he's given me back. Amen. With interest. Amen. Come on. I said with interest. Because yeah. I serve a big God. And when he gives you something, when he packs your lunch, he packs your lunch. Yeah. I remember daddy, he used to pack my lunch when I go to work painting. I'd have so much food in there, Troy. I, pay, I fed both the other boys that were working with me. <laughs> Every single day. What you got for lunch, over? Because they knew they was going to eat. Yeah. That's how we need to be with God. When we're holding hand in hand with God and we're walking with Him, everybody else around us is going to be fed. Why? Because we got the Spirit down inside. Because we got the breath of the living God in my lungs. And when I preach, I say, hey, Lord, I thank you for what you've done. When I go to work, I say, hey, Lord, I thank you for what you've done. And everybody around you can be changed. We can be changed. You can change. I changed. Yes, you did. I changed, y'all. I changed, Troy. I changed, Tina. Praise God. Yeah. I said praise God this morning. Praise Look what the Lord says. And will keep thee and give thee for a covenant of the people for a light of the Gentiles. That's you. To open the blind eyes. This is my favorite part right here. To open the blind eyes. To bring out the prisoners from the prison. And them that sit in darkness out of the prison house. Yes. See, this morning as I stand here, my eyes have been open. I once was blind, but now I see. Y'all yeah. remember that song, don't you? Yeah. You ever sing that? Yeah. I hope you have. <laughs> Amen? Amen? I was blind. You say, what are you talking about? I couldn't see the condition that I was in spiritually. Yeah. Didn't care. Come on, y'all. I was blind to the things of God because I had a carnal mind. I had a carnal heart. I didn't want to live for God. I didn't want to hear nothing about God. I didn't want to go around nanny. Didn't want to go around my papa. Didn't want to be around daddy. Come on. Because they was going to preach on me. They was going to love me, but they was going to preach on me. And I didn't want to be around that. And then one day, my eyes got open. I said one day Jesus reached in and he not only took my hand, but he wiped that stuff off my eyes. Amen. Come on, y'all. And I seen something. You say, what'd you see? I seen the glory of God. Yes. And when I seen the glory of God, it changed my life. And now as I stand here, I'm justified. I'm not worried about that other stuff. Don't care. Don't care about the old life. Because I'm a new creation. I'm a new creature in Jesus Christ. I abide in him and he abides in me. Amen. I'm connected to the vine, y'all. Come on, y'all. And I'm preaching to you this morning. I want you to be happy. I want you to know that no matter what situation is in your life, no matter what temptation, no matter what's coming knocking on your door, we serve a big God who rolled out the heavens, who spread forth the earth, who breathed breath into your body, who can hold your hand and keep you and can draw you into righteousness and change your life for eternity. Not just this life, but for the life to come. You know, I'm living a pretty good life right now. Yeah. whole lot better than I used to be, right? But it's nothing to when I hear that sound. When I hear that sound, y'all. Come on. Hey. Look, I was looking for that shofar horn. I was going to blow it for you. Blow it for us. We're going to hear a sound that's so loud uh -huh. that even y'all are going to come alive. Yeah. <laughs> Amen? Amen. Amen? We ain't going to drag in that day. I'm going to go marching in. Come on. I'm going to go dancing in. I'm going to go boot stomping in. Come on, y'all. Can you imagine that, Troy? Can you imagine that, Jaquara? When he blows that horn, Jesus shows up in the air. We go to meet him. Can you imagine when you step through that pearly gate? How big God is. How real God is. Because he's real. You know, we read the word and we think of it like a story. 
We think of it like something that happened a long time ago. It doesn't come real to us. That's because you ain't been praying. Yeah, I'm going to preach on that now. Prayer. <laughs> we don't pray. You don't pray. You don't pray. You say, yes, I do. No, you don't. We're not praying like we're supposed to be praying. How do you know? Because I'm guilty too. Yeah. We need to be praying more than we're doing everything else. How come he give us all this breath, he give us all this spirit, and we can't give none back to him? When's the last time you blessed God? You yeah. ask him to bless you. Yeah. Lord, bless me. Bless my mama, bless my daddy, bless my uncle, bless my cousin, bless my babies. Come on. <laughs> Lord, bless us. When'd you bless the Lord last? Wouldn't you just wake up and say, Lord, mm, yeah. Lord, thank you. I bless thank your holy name. Lord. I testify before you and all of your holy angels that you are good. Amen. That you saved my soul. That you brought me out. When's the last time we've done something like that? Yeah. I'm going to tell you what. I want you to try this in the morning. In the morning when you get up instead of reaching your phone and scrolling through Facebook, I want you to wake up and I want you to say, mm, thank you, Lord, for another day. Yeah. Just do that right there, and I'm going to tell you what, your whole day is going to be different. You say, why? Because that's praise. He said, enter into my gates with praise and thanksgiving, Troy. Yes. With praise and thanksgiving, it's a weapon. All those problems that kind of try to roll in on your cars, breaking down, all that stuff, you know what you just start doing? Thank you, Jesus. Mm, thank you, Lord. The boss calls you in and tells you, stop showing up late. You know what you start doing? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for what you're doing. Come on. Y'all ain't hearing me this morning. Amen. Can I get an amen? Amen. <laughs> amen. 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 To bring the prisoners from the prison house. Some of us are still in prison because we can't overcome the things that are in our lives. How come the things that aren't right for me to do is right for you to do? Preach it. Yeah. How come the Spirit of God that's living inside of me says it's okay for you to do it? And not for me. Is it the same Spirit? That's deep, man. Yes. If you are so full of the Lord like you say you are, how come you keep doing the things that you shouldn't be doing? You're still in prison and you're still Amen. blind. Amen. You're in prison, you're in shackles, you're in chains. We gotta leave that mess alone. Amen. I said amen. amen. We need to leave that mess alone and go on into righteousness. I said into righteousness. You know what you're doing, I gotta tell you. Come on. You know exactly what you're doing. I don't have to tell you. I don't have to point you out. I don't have to say, hey, you doing this, nah, 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 nah. <laughs> you going to go to heaven like that? No. No, you ain't. It says that no sin will enter into the gates of heaven. No. Not a little bit. Jesus didn't say go and sin a little less. He said go and sin no more. No more. Why do you want to be in prison? Why do you want to do certain things and then you try to reach out for God and he's not as close to us as we want him to be. He didn't move, you did. Or maybe you never got as close as you should have in the beginning. Amen? Amen. Come on. That's true. And them that sit in darkness out of the prison house, we commit these things because we like darkness rather than light. Amen? We just preached on this last Sunday. Daddy preached about stepping into the light. Amen? I figured we might as well go a second round with it. Come on, y'all. Amen? I am the Lord, that is my name, and my glory will I not give to another, neither my praise to graven images. We give him glory to everything but God in this country, and we're proud of it. You know what I'm talking about. A bunch of pride running around right now, ain't it? It's not just them. You're prideful too. That's right. Come on. Come on. We take pride in what we have. We take pride in stuff. We take pride in how good we are. Come on. We take pride in the little things that we do when it's not big enough. You think coming to church and warming a pew on Sunday is good enough? It's not. 
It's not good enough. You say, should we do it? Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. We should come to the house of the Lord. We should back the man of God. We should back each other as Christians, as brothers and sisters in Christ. But there's more to it than coming to a woman of bench on Sunday morning. You say, what is it? Get out there and use that breath. Get out there and seek that glory and spread it. He said, my glory will I not give to another. He's not going to share it. This morning as I stand here, I'm not the one for you to look to. You need to look up. Amen. I'm just giving you a little motivational speech. Amen. Come on. That's right. Amen. Yeah. Can I get an amen in the house of God? Amen. Can I get an amen in the house of God? Amen. 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 There's preachers that stand and they don't, they don't ever give you no emotion. They don't ever give you any spirit. They don't never shed a tear for your trial. They don't never get down on their knees in their own house and pray for you. You know what? This morning as I stand here, I can proudly say, and I'm speaking honestly when I say I pray for you. Amen. Every Bless one of you. Bless the Lord. You say, well, I ain't been here in a long time. That don't mean nothing. I'm still praying. I have connections all over the place. We pray it. Right. Come yeah. on, y'all. Yeah. We need to pray for one another. Troy, I want to pray for you. Boys, I'm praying for you. Yeah. DJ, I'm praying for you. Kane, I'm praying for you and that baby and Jacob. I'm praying for y'all, yeah. church. Yeah. We need to use our breath for the ministry of God. Amen. It's not my ministry. It's his. He give it to me. Thank he let me Lord. be in it. You, Amen. Amen. Let's pray for one another. I want you to pray for me, Tina. I'm going to pray for you, other Tina. Amen. <laughs> Come on, y'all. Right? Joe and Drusilla, I'm praying for y'all. Margaret, praying for you. Kim, Brittany, sir, praying for you. <laughs> Billy Joe, I'm praying for you. All right. Amen. 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 This is the easiest part of being a pastor. Yeah. Standing up and delivering you a 20 minute sermon is the easy part. It's the other stuff that's hard. Yeah. It takes discipline. It takes discipline for you. Amen. Amen. How much have you prayed for me? Come on. Amen. I need prayer too. Yeah. I love prayer. I take all the prayers you can give me. You can't pray enough minutes in the hour for me. How many prayers have you said up for my father? What about our youth here? Yes, yes. Are you praying for them? Yes, I am. I'm praying for them. I'm praying for you to come and stay in the house of God. Amen. I'm praying for your children to be here. Yes. Amen? Yes. Let's use our breath wisely. Behold, the former things are come to pass, and new things do I declare. Before they spring forth, I will tell you of them. He has a plan for us and a direction for you, and he's already laid it out. Amen. You say, what is it? Be righteous. Be holy. Be connected to him. How? His hand in your hand. Your hand in his hand. His breath, your breath. Your mind, his mind. His heart is my heart. My heart is his heart. Come on, church. I serve a big God, uh, and he's bigger than all of my problems. Uh, he's bigger than the ones that are around me. Uh, he's bigger than the boss at work. Uh, he's bigger than a car problem. He's bigger than an addiction. Uh, and if we would reach out our hand, uh, he would reach out his, uh, and he'd pull us out of there and lead us into righteousness. Yeah. But you got to take the first step. He's already paid the price. What are you going to do? You say, what did he pay? He paid it with his blood. Jesus Christ went to the cross of Calvary. They nailed him to the tree. They whipped him. They beat him. They spit on him. They mocked him. They cursed him. They gambled for his clothes. They rent him for pieces. Come on, church. Yes. But we can't do nothing for God. We can't even pray for our significant other. If you love them like you say you would, you would. Yes. Amen? Yes. If you loved your wife like you said you loved your wife, you'd be praying for her. If you loved your husband like you say you loved your husband, you'd be praying for him. That's right. That's right. How would we be if we was all prayed up this morning? If you walked into church, come on, y'all. Hey, <laughs> if you would have walked in that door this morning and been prayed up, Imagine the service that we would have. Yeah. Imagine if every one of you would pray in shifts. Come on. 
What if you would take time out of your day to pray and say, we're not just going to show up to church today. God's going to show up and we're going to move into the presence and we're going to live there. The preacher ain't even going to get to say nothing because the Holy Spirit going to come down and we're going to have us a time. Yeah, good time, good time. I'm going to have a good time. Come on. All right, now let's go to 43. But now thus saith the Lord that created thee, O Jacob, and he that formed thee, O Israel, fear not, for I have redeemed thee. I have called thee by thy name. Thou art mine. Thou art mine. You know, that little boy back there, that's my boy. Yeah. You can tell because he looks like me. Yeah. He acts like me. <laughs> he talks like me. Yeah. He walks like me. Amen. He got a belly like me. <laughs> Come on. When you see him, you know whose he is. Yeah. Amen. When you see me, you know whose I am. Come on, church. Amen. We all got the same name, too. Yeah. <laughs> but what about God? When I see you, do I see Jesus? When you see me, do you see Jesus? Come on. We're his children. Yes. He holds me by hand. He knows me by name. Yes. He Praise knows me God. by name. Yes. I am his. He is mine. Come on. Can you tell it? Can you tell that I've been walking with God? Yes. If I died today, if this was my farewell address, Rayford, what would you remember me by? Would you remember that I wore boots all the time in church? Would you remember that I could play the guitar a little bit? Would you remember that I hassled you every Sunday morning by buying me a camera stand for the YouTube? <laughs> Would you remember me by my janky beard? <laughs> Come on, y'all. They remember my granddaddy by God is faithful. They remember my granddaddy by carrying the word of God from the east coast to the west coast. Come on, church. What are you going to be remembered by? I want you to remember me as a boy who changed his life, who turned it around, who lived his life for God, who preached the word of God without fear, favor, or compromise, who stepped on your toes, who told you what was right, who wouldn't let up off of you, and who seen you to the gates of heaven. I want to walk with you through the gates of heaven today. I wish it was today. Come on, I wish it was today. I wish he would come back right now. What if he would come back right now? I was in the pulpit preaching the word of God when he called me home. Yeah. That'd be good, man. Yeah. But what if he'd have come got you last night? I was at the monster truck show. <laughs> I don't know what you was doing, but you know. What if he had come last night? Would we still win? Was you his last night? Or are you just his on Sunday morning? I want to be his all day long. Amen. When thou passest through the waters, I'll be with thee. And through the rivers, they shall not overflow thee. When thou walkest through the fire, thou shalt not be burned, neither shall the flame kindle upon thee. I want you to know that when I walk through the flood waters, I ain't going to drown because I got a lifesaver. Yes. I want you to know that when I walk through the fire, that I'm not going to be burned. The only thing that's going to burn off of me is the things that held me. Come on, church. Yes. You say, well, we ain't going to have to go through the water. You ain't going to have to go through the fire. You're going to have to go through some things. Yes. When you get saved and you give your heart to God, it's not going to all be smooth sailing. That's right. You're going to have some problems. That's right. Really, that's when your problems are going to begin because your eyes have been opened. But it's supernatural. Amen? Yeah. I think about them boys when they threw them into the furnace. They got in there. You know what they did? They used their breath. They had the Spirit of God living inside of them. They broke out to dancing. Amen. I said they broke out to dancing. Come on. Yeah. They didn't have no banjo. <laughs> Want no banjo playing six. Want no guitars. Want no twin fiddles. All they could hear was the flames. Yes. 
the flames were so hot that it burnt the ones and killed the men that threw them in there. Mm -hmm. yeah. Come on, y'all. Yeah. It was hotter than it used to be. When you ever heard it, you hear the fire when you make a campfire, you hear it crackling and popping. Yeah. Can you imagine that? But they weren't scared. He said, fear not, for I am with thee. I know your name. You are mine. So when I step into the fire, because I got to go into it because it's going to refine me. It's going to bring forth something that's pure. It's going to bring forth that something that couldn't go through the fire. See, when you go through the fire, that stuff that's not supposed to be in there, it's not supposed to be around you, it's going to burn off. And when you get out on the other side, you can have a little dance. You can have a song in your heart. You can have a praise in your soul. And you can say, Lord, I thank you for what you've done. Amen. But you can't fear going into it. You got to stand on the word of God. You got to stand on the word of God. And you got to know how big God is. And you got to know who you are. See, a lot of us, we can't say, I'm the Lord's. Because we've been caught up in too much that stuff. <laughs> Amen? Amen. Amen? We're doing too much stuff we shouldn't be doing. Hanging around with them fools we shouldn't be hanging around with. <laughs> That's what they are. They're fools. Amen? Amen? Amen. Whose are you this morning? I'm a little regular. But I'm a child of God. Amen. And my God is big. Yes. Yes. And my God is so big that whatever is ailing you this morning, Whatever problems you have, he can step right on. Yeah. He can hold you by your hand. He can lead you into righteousness. But you got to reach your hand out for him. Will you stand with me this morning? Yeah. Serve a big God. Amen? amen. amen. Said amen. amen. I said I serve a big God. Thank you, Lord. This morning I want to sing a song. I'm going to open the altar to you. I don't want you to come to see me. I want you to come to repent of your sins, number one. Then I want you to tell God how much you love him. Because he loves you. In the state that you're in, in the state that I was, he loved me. Amen? Amen. He loves you. So this morning I'm going to sing you a song. I'm not going to promise that it's going to be real good. But I want you to come, and I want you to give it to God. All right? Softly and tenderly, Jesus is calling, calling for you and for me. See on the portals he's waiting and watching. Watching for you and for me Come home, come home Ye who are weary, come home Earnestly, tenderly, Jesus is calling Calling, oh sinners, come home. Why should we tarry when Jesus is pleading? Pleading for you and for me. Why should we linger and heed not his mercy? Mercies for you and for me. Come home, come home, ye who are weary, come home. Earnestly, tenderly, Jesus is calling. Calling, O oh, sinners, come home. Oh, for the wonderful love He has promised. Prom
promise for you and for me. Though we have sinned, he has mercy and pardon. Pardon for you and for me. Come home, come home, ye who are weary, come home. appreciate you. I'm going to ask DJ if he'll dismiss us in prayer. <coughs> <coughs>